Hey guys, uh, this is just going to be a follow-up review on my outdoors RV. This is a 2022-25 RDS, and I did a I did a review when I first bought it. Um, but I've I've had it now for 12 months, for a year, a whole season, and uh, I've learned a few things. And I, I just want to go through inside and out um, the things I like and don't like about this RV, um, and and this could apply to a lot of RVs too. So. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna start on the outside and then we'll head on to the inside. Um, this the awning, number one, is awesome. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a it rolls up into an armored piece, a shield there, and it's you can see at the very top corner it's it's unwound and so it's protected really well. I think that's a great feature. You don't see that too often in a lot of RVs. Uh, it's got the the little um I got the lock. If you have an off-road vehicle or whatever, you can lock it up to the RV and it's, that's kind of a cool feature. Um, I'm running two AGM batteries, um, and they're they're nice and tucked away in there. There's actually a light up here that comes in handy. You turn that on from inside the storage compartment. And uh, one thing I do like is this little uh, guy here for hanging your chain, so your chains aren't hanging on the ground. Um, you can hang your chains up here and and uh, your your cords and stuff, and, and that's a nice feature. The one thing that's you know it looks like it's a piece of metal but but that's actually plastic but uh it's it's strong enough it stays on there it doesn't go anywhere it's a it's it's a nice little touch um i haven't had any issues up here i like the the cap it's got that fiberglass cap nice big storage compartments and uh it's got this tough flooring in here which is really good uh there's led lighting on both sides i got my disconnect for the batteries that little switch there turns that outside LED light on and uh, it's just you know it's a nice compartment it's my jack tool and there's plenty of room in there got my Zamp solar if you want to put another panel out here and it's all set up the controllers all in there and ready to go now one issue I have had is um, on these doors the screen doors have on both of these doors I've they've been binding up right so I've had to make adjustments to Get those to work better um but that that's been kind of annoying getting those those screen doors adjusted but <clears throat> i got it done so it's all good um no big issues out here the fridge works really good it runs on both propane and electric and that's quite handy there's a little fire pit hook up in here if you open this door uh there's just a little place to hook up a fire fire uh, pit thing barbecue whatever you want um everything else out here has been really good it's got a 10 gallon uh, gas and electric um, hot water heater and I guarantee you, you will never run out of hot water with that thing it's been really awesome coming around the back <clears throat> nothing really major uh, as far as any problems back here um, really super heavy duty ladder which that makes a big difference having that that nice heavy ladder those little flimsy ones don't don't hold up very well but that ladder will always be good to go yeah so it's all good back here um, so here are all the connections they're pretty easy to get to you've got your uh, you know various antenna connections power it's where you fill your water haven't had any issues with the slide outs slide out or the slide out now one issue I have had is on these back windows and there's two of the one, one on this side and one on the other side they're identical and this rubber strip I came out one day and it was hanging down and just being held on by by a little bit on both sides so it just it just came down and came off and um, I've had to get some silicone adhesive and put those back up and that's on both sides so that's probably a trend I'd say if you had one of these, you'll probably see that. Um, like I said, the slide out works really good. I've got the uh, oversized wheels on here, the 16 inch wheels. They've been really good, no issues with those at all. And uh, you know, you put air on them. I never have any air pressure issues at all. Now, this is how you tell you got an outdoors RV. This is the shower, outside shower. And that's a one inch door now most of your showers have the little cheap plastic door on most rvs and i've had 
in my entire RV life of owner, owning RVs, the only time I've ever had a freeze problem has been right here at the outside shower I, I, and, it, and the free, it froze up and cracked the, the shower head. Never ever in an outdoors RV, right? And probably because you got this big heavy insulated door. So it's just a nice thing on the, uh, on the outdoors. Now, I didn't ever think that these would be a good feature you always just have to reach under and pull the uh, the handles for the gray and the and the black tanks, but these actually work really good. I thought they'd be kind of awkward, but but they're not. They work really good. I, I really like that feature, so so that's kind of nice. Underneath, everything's holding up real well, no issues. And yeah, you know, it's you got the black tank flush, and again, you got nice big storage compartment up in the front I wish it had a another little compartment somewhere that you can put all well, the stuff you pull out a lot of like um, you know your uh, your leveling blocks and wheel chocks and stuff like that that would be kind of nice if you had a little dedicated compartment because you're always kind of fishing around for stuff in, in these bigger compartments but I've got it pretty well organized so I've kind of worked around that all right but yeah, you know, no no big issues. It's holding up really well. None of the seams are coming apart. There's no leaks. There's no tears. I have pretty much no issues. Um, so it's it's been really good. It tows really nice. Um, so here we are. Uh, by the way, we're we're at Bruno Dunes. That's in the background there. You can see the dunes. And this is Bruno Dunes State Park in Idaho. So now that we've had a look at the outside, let's head on into the inside and I'll tell you what I like and don't like in there. All right, here we are on the inside of this outdoor 25 RDS. And we're gonna start with the uh, dinette. Now this is a big feature of outdoors. And um, again, going over what I like and don't like, I definitely like the, the dinette, it's awesome. I mean, it's probably the sturdiest, stablest table super well made super comfy and you know i really like the view the view window is super nice you can get a good feel for it there i, I love that right it's you know take advantage of the views where you're out and uh, again we're here in bruno dunes and that's a perfect view of the dunes out there uh, lighting's real good air conditioning works real good those are all likes the floor uh the flooring is really good yeah uh, it's super durable um, no issues there Lots of storage. This makes into a nice big bed if you have guests. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, so you do have extra sleeping in here. Um, fire extinguisher, you got storage. Now for uh, winterization, uh, you just take this panel off to get to your hot water heater. And that's where you get to your bypass valves to bypass hot water heater. So that's real easy. Lots of plugs, um, storage pretty much everywhere. Storage is not a problem now. Um, Looking at the kitchen, uh, countertops are a definite like. Storage is good. You know, you've got drawers here. Got some storage here. Lots of big drawers. Big drawer down here. That's a lockable drawer, just like the two back there. Those are lockable. Um, the oven's a nice, big, roomy oven. Right, and that's bigger than most RVs I've seen. That's all alike. Uh, I like the the stove top is actually metal. It's not a cheap junky stove top, right? Uh, electric ignition um, is standard. Um, really great stove. Uh, we got LED lighting uh, under there. Nice microwave. No problems with that. Those are all likes. Cabinetry is awesome, right? No no issues with that. Huge storage in here. I mean, it's deep and big. Probably the biggest thing, if I were to have a gripe, a, a not like in here, it's probably going to be the fact that I don't have a pantry. So we basically are been using this as a pantry. You know, it's kind of, yeah. you know, it's what you do. It's not great. One, uh, one thing about the sink, this is a great faucet, really great faucet. But I did lose a little screw back here. So this whole piece just falls off now, or if you pull it, it'll come off, it doesn't fall off, but 
If anybody knows what size screw that is, let me know because I need one. I don't know where it went. I'll probably just call Outdoors or my dealer and just say, hey, I need a screw and hopefully they'll give it to me. There's lots of um, plugs up underneath. Good lighting, really good lighting um, under there. And like I said, a lot of plugs. So there's, there's plugs over here as well. Counter space is definite like. There is a lot of counter space. A lot of RVs don't have good counters, good counter space. And so that's a big selling feature for me. More storage up here, which is good. Storage up above, 40 inch 12 volt TV. I've got 270 watt solar panels on here. And uh, I could run this TV. I have a TV in the bedroom. Um, I went with the uh, pull out sofa sleeper option and it's a really comfy bed actually pulls out in no time it's really easy to do um so between extra sleeping there and extra sleeping there you can actually put a lot of people in here um now one comment that i heard from my in my earlier review of this rv was um they don't like the fact that when you're sitting here you have to turn your head to see the tv and and that's true um it hasn't really bothered me much only because you know you can kind of put a pillow and kick back and, and watch the TV from here you can pull the TV out it's on a mount so you can pull it out and you can swivel it into the direction that you're sitting so that helps a little bit or you can just sit back here put a couple pillows up and relax and uh, you got plenty of viewing area for the TV so maybe it's a dislike um, it, absolutely does not bother me but it I could see it bothering some people the skylights are awesome the skylights let a lot of extra light in the RV that a lot of RVs you know you don't get skylights they're really nice to have they really light up the, uh, the inside of the RV another nice big closet now you could use this for a pantry as well you can see how big and deep that is and another storage drawer down there like I said lots of storage those are all likes these uh, little cup holders are handy. They flip up. They're durable. Um, I don't see those breaking off anytime soon. They're really good. So pretty much all this is a like. I don't have any real dislikes in here. Um, one thing that is probably on the dislike list is the furnace. The furnace, it's awesome in terms of putting out heat, but it is loud. Um, I've owned RVs where the furnace is actually really quiet and really effective this 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 furnace is pretty noisy at night you definitely hear it kicking on another thing that would be nice would be if they had um you know a nice digital uh thermostat these are these are okay but uh you know they're super hard to to sort of get them fine-tuned right so not a great thing um uh, but but it's okay it could be an improvement the fantastic fans they are fantastic and with the fantastic fans here's one here it's down right now i got three of these and if you have the lid up if you have them open you can actually be going down the highway highway speeds and leave them wide open they're not flopping around like the flimsy little vents that you see on a lot of rvs and there's a lot of adjustability the fan speed pushing air out pushing air in you can set it any way you want and it just brings a lot of air through the rv fantastic fans are great the fridge is really good. We've got a uh, eight cubic foot fridge and they are, I mean, we never fill these things. I mean, they're just tons of room in there. Works really good. Um, keeps their things cold, whether it's running on propane or on 110. Stereo system and speakers and all that work really good. There's lots of good lighting. Happy with that. That's all good. Coming into the bathroom. Bathroom's really roomy, easy to um, get in here and change and you know do what you need to do um the another skylight tons of light in here and the shower is really roomy and awesome now the shower is probably one of the things that i have some issues with one is when you turn the shower on now i've got an aftermarket shower head that's a really efficient shower head those are really good by the way i just wish they made them in, in a brass color right to match everything else but you know i got the the standard head still in case i ever sell it i'll put that back on but that's that's just an aftermarket shower but when you turn the shower on one of the problems is um it just blows water basically straight out at you so you've got to turn it 
before you turn the water on or get inside and close the door and turn the water on because if you do if you don't do that it, it just blows right on out like on your feet outside the, the shower the other thing is is I had down here I can't see it there's a um there's a seal that was under there and it basically there's one up on top of here it just got all bunched up and messed up and so I just took it out now I don't know if it's going to leak I haven't tried that yet but I'm hoping it doesn't leak without that otherwise I'm gonna have to see how to get that back in there so that seal was a bit of a pain there's decent storage in here now you'll notice that there's no toilet paper holder and the reason why is because it's in here and I actually kind of like that that actually works really good all right got plenty of storage in here porcelain toilets works really good no issues love the fact that you got a water pump switch in here so you, you can turn your water pump on in here or out at the other panel out there outside there's your fantastic vent light fantastic vent up here now one thing i don't like this is a big don't like and that's that this is so short that you can't wash your hands in here without pushing them right up against there to do it this needs to be about an inch longer. If that was about an inch longer, I'd be super happy with it. But as it is, that's a real pain. The little the little sink's okay. We just need more. We just need more um, faucet so you can get your hands under there and actually wash them. So that's that's a bit of a negative there. Another plug in here, which is good. Plenty of hanging. That all is good. Let's head on into the bedroom. <clears throat> now I've had a problem where the door you know it's just an adjustment thing but it won't stay so that's just the thing I, a lot of coaches do that I, I just got to get it adjusted now in here we got another closet this is really nice all right and another drawer so a lot of storage in here and uh you know that's looking down the hallway that's your fuse box there's lots of usb ports on each side of the bed you got plugs and USB ports fantastic air uh, controller you got your Zamp solar power now we can put up to three solar panels on the roof and another one out on the ground on the side of the coach um, I think it's rated for like 550 watts something like that I'm running 340 right now so it works good gives you a lot of information um, there's a big storage space underneath the bed it just lifts up there's two big uh, compartments on either side of the bed for storage lots of room to set stuff super comfortable you got lighting again more plugs lots of storage we have the 12 volt tv in here that works really really good it's really nice um, you can turn the lights on in here and this is also a three-way switch for your outside awning light so you can turn it on here or at the control panel right super nice bedroom really like it um, it's a little bit to get to get around there is a little tight getting dressed is, is a little tight you know you really have to kind of come to this space to do anything but but it's nice you close the door right and uh, you got some privacy um but that's it uh I, you know that's really it there's not a lot of dislikes a lot of likes um yeah it's a great coach really great rv um i haven't had any issues with the awning the slide room works i got the heated tanks um, which i don't really use but they're there that's the, again for the outside awning led light um and then all your controls here um they all work